I also want to thank the Indigenous leaders who are attending this event as well. So, so for the first time since 1990, Timmins has gone blue. During the last election, the blue wave spread across the Northern Ontario, and we are building on that momentum today. We've got a lot of work ahead. <laughs> By the defining moment in my own decision to run for office was the Cote Gold announcement back in 2020. On that day, I Am Gold broke ground on the Cote Gold project. That project languished for over 15 years under the Liberals, and it was the Premier and the Ministers of the PC government that got that project moving. Mr. Rickford is sitting right here. Mr. Smith is here. Groundbreaking showed me that this government cares about getting things done and cares about industries that matter to the Northerners, like mining and forestry. I was inspired by that event and realized that I shared the same progressive values as the PC party. Nothing more important at Timmins than the resources that we have that the world wants. That's why I decided to run the provincial office and the PC party supported me from day one. Ministers made the trip up to Timmins right away and the government showed the people of Timmins that they have our backs. <laughs> By funding the ONTC rail expansion and the connecting, connecting link. $74 million for Timmins. Because the PC government wanted it and you supported that vision by electing me, and I thank you tremendously for that. Our Premier and this government are dedicated to strengthening the resource industries in this province that are so important to the North, while supporting the priorities of, priorities of the Indigenous communities and their partners. That's why I was honored to be chosen by Premier Ford to become the dedicated Minister of Mines with a special mandate to develop the Ring of Fire. It's a challenge that I am dedicated to and I support fully. Thank you very much for everybody in this crowd in supporting and believing in meeting that I can get this done. As part of my role, I work closely with Indigenous leaders to form strong partnerships for economic prosperity. Early this week, I attended the Chiefs of Ontario's Fall Chiefs Assembly, and again, the Premier was there to support the Chiefs and their communities. It was a tremendous event, and he stands up in front of the peoples and says, here's my cell phone number, call me. That's the type of leader we have. Today, Premier Ford is showing that he is dedicated to mining and the Chimmins as well, making another mining announcement at the Newmont Porcupine Operations. I look forward to continuing the strong work our government is doing to build Ontario. It is fantastic to have, a pre, uh, to have Premier Ford back in my riding and for the people of Timmins to meet him, speak with him, and show the Premier what makes Timmins community so special. And we are special. I admire the Premier because he is honest, speaks from his heart, and works tirelessly on behalf of Ontarians from all over the province. He is a Premier that governs for Northern Ontario and the people of the great riding of Timmins. And I am proud to serve as a member of his party and his cabinet. It's a tremendous honour. Let's give a round of applause for the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford.
much, everyone. Boy, this is a testament to you, George. People love you here. And thank you, George, for that introduction. And I thank you for everything you do for the great people of Timmins. I have, I have to say, I have to say there is no greater champion for the city than George. Best thing, I always say to everyone, the best thing Timmins ever did was elect George. He has a strong voice down at Queen's Park. He has a strong voice at the cabinet table. And as my colleagues here, which I'll introduce in a second, when George speaks at the cabinet table, people listen. And he was a great mayor, and now he's an incredible MPP and a brilliant minister of mines. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. So grateful for everyone here in Timmins for putting your trust in George and sending him to Queen's Park on your behalf. He's a big part of the team, a massive part, along with Minister Rickford, who was instrumental in getting George. I gotta tell you a story here. So for a long time, you know, Greg would say, we got this great guy. And I, I knew George was talking about the mayor of Timmins, says he's gonna be dynamite. Did we bet a dinner or not? I, I think we bet a dinner or something that we were going to uh, uh, go out and... and uh, I forgot. So did you, you forgot? Okay, well I owe you a dinner anyways, probably ten dinners. <laughs> and we, we were so fortunate when uh, George decided to run uh, for us and we're still very, very grateful. Absolute champion. Greg, when it comes to northern development, he's absolutely key. And when it comes to indigenous affairs, you are a champion. The best indigenous affairs, northern development minister you could ever ask for. So thank you. Then, then we have my other champion right here, Graydon Smith, former mayor of Bracebridge. He's doing a great job at the Ministry of Natural Resources and, and forestry, and I know forestry is big in the north, and I know you're going to do a great job, Greg. And you're doing a great job. They're both incredible representatives for the people of the north. The quality of our team from the top to the bottom is second to none. I said on election night that there's never been a better group of MPPs than ours, and I've been around politics for 30 some odd years, our family has, and Never have I seen the quality that we have down at Queen's Park right now, and they've been proving me right every single day since then. And it's always great to see Eric Cote. Where are you, Eric? Where are you, buddy? Where did he go? How are you doing, Eric? The mayor of uh, Moonbeam. I'm gonna have to come out and see this moon that you have in front of the in front of the town when you come up. He was our candidate too. I'm glad you're your mayor and one of our great northern uh, candidates in the past election. And then, Michelle, where are you? Michelle Boulay, there you are, Michelle. Thank you for coming out today to the mine and being here. I, I, I know you're gonna do a great job like George has over the years, and anything you need, feel free to give myself or George or anyone a call, and we'll, we'll be there for you, Michelle. Now, before we get going, let me thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. This crowd is unbelievable and is an absolute privilege to spend time with you this evening. I always love reconnecting with the grassroots and getting out, I call it the Queen's Park bubble. And you can listen to, you know, a bunch of Ontario Public Service, which are great by the way, I love those guys, uh, and other politicians, or you get out and meet the real people. And talk about real people, the folks here in Timmins are, are grassroots. They're, you know, salt of the earth, and I just appreciate everything you do. This is the first chance I've had to come back to Timmins since the election, and I'm just so thrilled to be here. And it's not going to be my last. I'm going to come back frequently, especially when it's a little warmer, too. And thank, <laughs> thank goodness I got some insulation around here. It's like a, like a polar bear skin. But because we've achieved, what we've achieved uh, last June, our historic victory of 83 seats, it belongs to every party member, it belongs to each and every one of you, and an election win like this takes discipline and it takes hard work, but most importantly, it takes an army. George, Greg, and Graydon can tell you, it takes an army of volunteers and campaign staff, and so this victory belongs to every senior who made phone calls, 
every worker who came out in the evenings to put up lawn signs, every young person who spent their weekends knocking on doors. To all of you who are here tonight, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thank you so much. You put your trust in us and we will not let you down. We will work every single day to show you that you voted for the right team, the right party. In 2018, we ended 15 years of liberal mismanagement and scandal. In 2022, we secured a historic vote of confidence from all parts of Ontario. And in 2026, with you by my side, we will lead this party to a third mandate. Together, we have shown that our approach, it makes us competitive in regions long lost by the PC party, including right here in Timmins. And so, let's talk about what that means for the people here in Timmins. It means that after decades of being ignored and overlooked, you have a government that's finally looking out for you. You have a government that is bringing back the Northlander Rail Service after the Liberals cancelled it. And by the way, there's a great announcement. I know we're going to be making it shortly. This is a real exciting one, too, about the Northlanders. And I think that's coming down the rails, excuse the pun, uh, in the next couple of weeks. You have a government that is rebuilding Highway 101 after the Liberals found every reason not to get it done. You have a government that is bringing investment and good paying jobs back to this region after the Liberals chase them away. And we already are seeing the results. Earlier today, I was at Newmont, and I want to thank the folks at Newmont Mines. They're incredible. They're, they're announcing a $160 million investment and new water treatment facility that will enable more mining in this great region. And I'm sure there's more exciting news uh, coming down the road as well. That is a huge vote of confidence in Timmins, in our workers, and in the future of Northern Ontario. They know what we know, that there is no better place for businesses to thrive and prosper and grow and create jobs than right here in Northern Ontario. <coughs> and, and we are so blessed with the critical minerals that the entire world is after. And folks, I, I can tell you through Vic Fidelli, our Minister of Economic Development, every day he's getting calls about our critical minerals. But we're gonna make sure whatever we do with critical minerals here, there's a couple rules. Number one, our Indigenous friends have to be involved in it. That's number one. Number two, number two, we have to have added value to the minerals. They can't take our minerals and go overseas and start creating batteries and cars over there. The way they get them, they're gonna do it right here in Ontario, not overseas. And that's why our government is saying yes to unlocking the economic potential of Northern Ontario and saying yes to finally building the road to the ring of fire. <laughs> Friends, as we navigate global economic uncertainty, it has never been more important that we face these challenges united as a province. And no other party is better positioned to unite Ontario than the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario. That's, that's why it's never been more important to keep reaching out to new communities and keep building new partnerships and as we do we must stay engaged with party members to make sure that we're always delivering the results that matter to each and every one of you because never in our lifetime has it been more important for a party to represent all of the people of Ontario as a province we have every advantage a bright and highly skilled workforce, an abundance of natural resources, and our government will keep working hard to make sure Ontario remains the greatest place anywhere in the world to live, work, and raise a family. One thing, one thing, 
I have complete confidence in are the people of this great province. There are no harder working people anywhere on earth than right here in Ontario. And I know that together we will accomplish incredible things. Together we will build Ontario to everyone here, to the great people of Timmins, and every person who sent us to work on their behalf, who put their trust in us to get it done for them. Let me say once again, we will never, ever let you down. We will never take our eyes off the ball. We will work every day to earn your trust you put in us. Thank you, and God bless the people of Timmins. Thank you. Thank you.